Here are the three configurations of transformers, our modern AI factory, that you need to know. Let's start with encoder only. Encoder only models are like bookworms. They read and analyze all of the text thoroughly. And what do they do with all that analysis? They turn all that input data into a compact representation called an embedding. Once we have an embedding, we can use it for many tasks from creating a classification or using that embedding to find other similar embeddings. That's cool, but no text generation? Nope, they're not built for that. If you want some text generated, let's look at the encoder decoder model. Now we're talking. The encoder reads the input, processes it, and then hands it off to a decoder, which then generates the output. This sounds a lot more complicated. It is, but it works really well for complicated tasks like translation or summarization. Is there such a thing as just decoder only? Ah, yes, the decoders. These models excel at storytelling. We can use them for generating text. How do they work? These models generate output one token or one word at a time based on what it's already seen before. We call this autoregressive generation. So what do we use them for? The decoder models are really good at sequence prediction or being able to complete those sentences and do that text generation. But suppose I have a classification problem. Can I use them? They can, but they're gonna be slower and require more compute than do the, to do those tasks than an encoder-only model. It's always trade-offs, but at least now I know the three major components for transformers.